Hello, I'm Stephanie with Monta Fitness, and today I have a weighted upper body strength workout for you. We're just focusing on those bodies and tries in this workout, so there is no warm up or cool down. We just have one circuit. You will need a set of dumbbells if you don't have any. It's okay. You can find water bottles, soup cans, or just use plain body weight and work against yourself. You will also need a bench. Again, it's not necessary. You can do those exercises off the floor as well. If you haven't, hit that like and that subscribe button. You can also find me on Instagram, TikTok, and Patreon. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, we're gonna start off with 10 reps of a hammer curl. Each exercise is 10 reps and we're just going twice through, so it's gonna be a really quick workout. I'm gonna let you know what I'm lifting. I'm gonna stick with 12 pounds per hand here for my hammer curls. If you want, you can sit on your bench if you have it or you can stay standing, it's up to you. So we're just gonna bring those weights up to our shoulders and back down. Same as a bicep curl, but it's, uh, and our hands are just in a different position. Keep those elbows still pinned to your sides, core tight. Exhale at that hardest range of motion. Make sure you pick a weight that is good for you. not be able to use 12 pounds next time around. My arms are already super sore from a previous workout, so we'll see how long my usual weights last us. Next up, we have a tricep kickback. I'm gonna use eight pounds per hand here. And I'm gonna pinch a little bit. So we're just going to come gently, bend at those knees, core tight, back neutral. Bring up those weights and kick them back. Just keep them up here and kick back. Nice and easy. All right, already finished with those. Check it out if you need to. Next up, we have a cross chest curl. I'm gonna use 10 pounds per hand here. Again, same rules apply for that bicep curl or that hammer curl, but we're going to bring it up across our chest. Still keep that elbow pinned to your side. It's gotta lift a little bit because of the motion. Also grab your motivating music if you need it. I'm gonna go ahead and do 10 each side here. Nice and controlled. One more. All right. Ooh, gotta shake that out. Next up, we have skull crusher. So I'm gonna come down to my bench. Again, if you don't have a bench, it's okay. You can do this off the floor. Lay back on your bench or on the floor. Hands straight up over those uh, shoulders and core tight back into the ground or the or your bench. And you're going to just bend at those elbows and bring them right by your head and straight back up.
more. Arms are shaking. Yikes. Next up, we have a bent over wide row on our left side. If you want, you can use um, your bench um, to lean on. You can also uh, lean on your leg here. So if you're leaning on your leg, kind of do like a tripod stance and you're going to have that weight out and you're going to bring the elbow straight up and back. One more. Yikes. Put down that weight. Next up, we have a tricep dip. I'm going to move my hands back a little bit to give myself some more space. Again, if you don't have a bench, it's okay. You can do these off the ground as well. So we're just going to come out and you put your feet out in front of you arms on the bench or on the ground, and you're just going to come straight, sit back down, and back up. The further you kick out your feet, the harder it is, the closer, the easier. Lifted the first time. Now let's start it up. If I'm going too fast for you as well, you can always pause me and catch up and then just hit that play button again. is a tricep extension and then we're going to repeat these all over again <laughs> so I'm going to use one 12 pound dumbbell here I'm going to split stance my feet core tight back neutral let it go down and back up keep those elbows close to your head those hammer curls. I'm going to try, try with my 12 pounds again. If you ever need to drop your weight, please do so. There's nothing wrong with it. As long as you're performing each exercise with good form, that's what matters. Back of those 
tricep kickbacks. Again, I'm gonna sit to my eight pounds per hand here. Slight bend in those knees. Next up, we have those cross chest curls. I'm gonna use 10 pounds per hand here again. 10 each side. Five more. All right. Finish with that. Next up, we're gonna come back down to our bench or the floor for those skull brushes. Again, eight pounds per hand here. Core tight and bring them straight back by your head. Arms are shaking. Two more. Yes. My arms are on fire. Next up, that bent over wide row on the left. So close to being finished. <laughs> At least it's coming by quick. Right. Yikes. My arms. <laughs> it's a good thing. It's a good thing they're on fire. It's a good thing they're shaking. Back to that bent over wide blow on our right.
Two more. All right, and finally with that tricep extension, I'm gonna keep my 10 pound weight here. I hope that you have an awesome rest of the day, and I hope that you come back to work out with me again tomorrow. Thanks.